Well, tomorrow marks six years since that button was pushed, changing Flint's drinking water source to the Flint River. A move that kickstarted the city's water crisis as contaminated, untreated water poisoned the community. Our Ann Pratt caught up with the doctor who helped uncover the, health, the public health crisis. The sixth anniversary of the water source switch comes in the midst of the coronavirus pandemic. Pediatrician Dr. Mona Hanna-Atisha says had the country learned from Flint, we'd be in a better situation right now. It's because of incompetent leadership at the federal level. It's because we haven't invested in public health and because we haven't listened to scientists. So I hope that this provides another opportunity for us to learn these lessons and to make sure these kinds of things don't continue to happen. The pediatrician's work bringing light to elevated lead levels in Flint kids shortly after the switch proved the city was in a crisis. We have come an absolutely long way since then, um, you know, hand in hand with our partners throughout um, the Flint community. But she says the city is not at the point of recovery yet, especially Dr. Mona says because the civil lawsuits are not completed and criminal charges have yet to be brought back. There's a lot that we don't know yet. And, and without that closure, uh, for so many folks, this crisis is, is raw, it is real, and it, it, it's, a, it's a trauma every single day. Um, and for so many people in Flint, that justice delayed, is delayed very much feels like justice denied. As the legal process plays out, she's been championing resources for the community, working to make sure every person signs up for the Flint registry. We're connecting folks to, to things like health care and early childhood resources and senior services and nutrition. Um, it has served thousands of, of Flint residents impacted this crisis. It's a tool intended to keep track of what a community poisoned by lead needs for decades to come. These kids are also very much struggling with cognition and behavior issues and, and they need the additional supports. Um, so, you know, this work, this information is only going to be valuable uh, in regards to the number of people who sign up and get assessed. So far, Dr. Hanna Atisha says less than 20% of people who lived, worked, and went Went to school in Flint from April 2014 through October 15 have signed up. If you'd like to click on this story on our website, you actually get paid for volunteering to get help. I'm Ann Perrette, ABC 12 News.